we have just sanctioned the Iranian National Bank. That is their central banking system, and uh, it's going to be uh, at the highest level of sanctions. So that just took place, and a couple of other things. We have our Secretary of Treasury here, Steve Mnuchin. If you want to say just a word, Steve, before we begin. Mr. President, as you instructed me, we are continuing the maximum pressure campaign. This is the last remaining source of funds, so both the Central Bank of Iran as well as the National Development Fund, which is their sovereign wealth fund, will be cut off from our banking system. So this will mean no more funds going to the RRGC or to fund terror. And this is on top of our oil sanctions and our financial institution sanctions. How Thank you, Mr. President. Mr. Secretary, this is very big. We've, we've now cut off all sorts of funds to Iran. It goes all the way up to the very top? That does. Right to the top. Supreme right to the top. Okay, yes. Right to the top. Thank you very much, Steve. Thank you, Appreciate it. So, uh, we're dealing with many nations. We're dealing with some of the neighbors to Saudi Arabia, and of course, we're dealing with Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia is very much uh, involved uh, from the standpoint of what we're doing and what they're doing, and we're working together with others. We're also working on the cost of uh, this whole endeavor, and Saudi Arabia has been very generous. Um, we want to see if it works out, and if it works out, that's great, and if it doesn't work out, that's great. In the end, it always works out. That's the way it is. It always works out. So uh, you'll be seeing certain things happening, but a very major factor is what we did. These are the highest sanctions ever imposed on a country. We've never done it to this level. And it's too bad what's happening with Iran. It's going to hell, uh, doing poorly. Uh, they're practically broke. They are broke. And they could, they could solve the problem very easily. All they have to do is stop with the terror. They have been the number one, as you know, Scott, very well, number one country worldwide of terror, uh, between sponsoring it and doing it themselves. And we can't have it. Uh, they have a tremendous potential. They have an incredible potential. I can think — I can speak on behalf of Australia, too, in the sense that we'd like to see them do very well. We were discussing it before, the Prime Minister and myself. We want to see them to do well. But it looks to me like uh, with what's happening, maybe uh, they want to keep going at it.